Hey guys, so I'm going to be testing some products from Sephora today. I'm about to open the box. Well, my birthday was last week, I just turned 21. And they give you like a free gift and I picked the Bumble and Bumble shampoo and conditioner. I'm excited to uh, try this. And I've always wanted to try Bumble and Bumble so why not the sample size? That's what they look like. Okay, I just turned down the brightness a little bit, but the products I'm going to be testing is the new Becca highlighter. I'm pretty sure it's new. It said it was new online. It is the Becca and Vanilla Quartz. That's just, it's so shiny. I've always wanted to try milk makeup. This looks a little melted. But it's the Milk Makeup Cooling Water. I'll get it out. And that... I heard it. It sounded like Coleman. I lost my phone. <laughs> Found my phone! It was my boyfriend. Okay, sorry. I lost my phone and I was supposed to be hanging out with my friend today. But I just opened the... Milk Makeup, it looks like that, and it's the cooling stick. I heard you can put this in the fridge and it will be extra cooling the next day. And I will unpackage this. Ooh, it is so pretty already. I love Becca highlighters, all oh, this packaging. You can see it's like a freaking mirror. And, um, this is my other Becca highlighter, so you can just see the difference of the packaging. When I saw they had this one in Vanilla Quartz, I got really pumped to purchase it. Ooh, that is so pretty. It looks like some of it got... Oh, little thing fell off. But that is the highlighter. Oh, it is so pretty. Of course I'm filming this on a not so sunny day, I just, I have to film when I can, and yeah, but, ooh, that is very buttery. Oh, that's beautiful. Is it on my finger? It's so pretty. So how I'm going to do this video is I'm going to test out the cooling stick on my face, and then I'm going to quickly do an eye look, I'll just speed through it or just skip through it and then I'll show you guys the highlighter. Now the reason I wanted this cooling stick was because I've heard a lot of good things about it and I suffer from puffiness. You can see the redness around my eyes. My mom can explain it better but when I was born I had like underdeveloped tear ducts or something like that and it just caused puffiness under my eyes. I get enough sleep, I you know, I take care of my skin. Just. It wasn't my fault and I hate it, but I do anything to try to fix it. How do I get this cap off? Oh, it's like a deodorant. So, screw it up. Ooh. Mine melted. Okay, I'm gonna rub off, like clean it off. I cleaned it off. I guess I recommend getting the milk, um, brand in stores because it probably melted while it was getting mailed to me but let's try it out I heard to just sweep up and go on your eyelid Ooh, that's very cooling I heard you can do it as many times as you want Ooh, that feels good go on the eyelid and it's supposed to add moisture to your eye area too I like this. It might just be an illusion, but I swear, like, it looks way better already. I wow. I definitely really like this product. It brought down a ton of puffiness under my eyes and a lot of the redness and it took away my pores 
I don't wear foundation. I say that in like all my videos. So I really love to have products that just kind of blur my pores and take away redness. And I've been looking for a product for around my eye area to get rid of some of that redness and to really moisturize. And I think it did a great job in my under eyes. And they look a lot better than usual. A plus. Okay, so it's been like 15 seconds. And it's a little tackiness, but that might be because I put a lot on because it was my first time. But my skin is super soft and my under eyes look so much better. And yeah, I recommend that product. I'm going to speed through um, my eye look. I'm going to do a glitter eye today or I'm going to just skip it. I don't know. And then I'll get to the highlighter. So I'll be back. So I'm back. I did a kind of attempt at a cut crease. But I used the NYX Ice Glitter and I used my Lorac palette for like the crease and stuff. And then did eyeliner, mascara, bronzer, did my eyebrows, and now it's time to test that highlighter. This is my favorite brush to apply highlight with. I'm going to kind of flick it off real quick, rub it on a towel. Let's say e.l.f. brush. Well, first I'm going to apply it by itself. First I'm going to apply it by itself on my cheekbones and then I'm going to spray my face and apply it again just so we can see how it works without any help. One little scrape. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I want to see if I can adjust the brightness so you can... No, that does not help. I wish in videos any lighting gave something justice, but this is gorgeous and I'll have, it'll look good on the close up, so yeah, I love this. I'm gonna spray my face with my Milani Make It Dewy setting spray and then apply it again. So I'm just gonna get it on my brush. This is a freaking gorgeous highlight. My house is haunted. Normally, like, Moose opens the door, but there's nothing out there. Oh, yeah. That makes it pop. And I'm going to put this on my inner corner. Oh, that's a beautiful inner corner shade. I, I dig it. I wish you could see the highlight better because um, I don't, it looks very pretty. You can kind of see it right there. For the Melk Cooling Stick, I 10 out of 10 recommend this. I love it. It really um, brought down the puffiness in my eyes as I did my makeup. I noticed a complete difference. Not like drastic, like oh my bags are gone, but the redness and puffiness went down. It blurred my pores. but. I love that about this product. It's not something that's supposed to hold foundation on, so it just blurred my pores and made it my skin look flawless. As for the new Becca Vanilla Quartz highlight, I highly recommend this for fair toned skin. There it is again up close. It is very buttery like they say. This is perfect if you have very pale skin in my opinion because I have trouble finding highlighters that don't look like bronzers on my cheekbones. I want to try this on my friend Lizzie because she's like really tan and I, I bet this would be beautiful on her. So yeah, this is freaking gorgeous and my new favorite highlighter. That was my makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly recommend these products. I'm still looking for a lighting system. If you know any that are decently priced or any DIY ways of doing it, let me know. 
But yeah, I love this makeup. That milk makeup was so awesome. The cooling water, I love that. I'm gonna put it in the fridge and test it out that way. That highlighter is bomb, so I'm gonna get some close-ups and I'll be back next week.